What up everyone and welcome back to Firewatch. This game is so good. So if you haven't watched the first video, then just click the link. Yeah, it should be right here or here. Yeah, right here. I love the vibe that this game brings. This like adventurous and good kind of vibe. And that's why I kind of been wanting to play this game again. Let's keep going. So we're on day two. The so last time we completed the intro and uh, we're now on day two. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out and that's not working either. Is there no backup? I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah. yeah, of course. So you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Also, last time, there was this guy that we saw, this mysterious, strange man that, like, threw our typewriter. We'll see if we can find him. But I also realized it when I was editing the last video, and that's that Delilah actually said that all the caches, like, have the same code, and which is 1, 2, 3, 4. But if I would have paid attention, I wouldn't know that because I've found another cache, but I couldn't open it. I mean, I could have, but I was stupid and didn't know that she said that. They all have the same code, but anyway. We want to go back to the cave. Where was the cave at? What, what did that wind scare me? I thought it was someone breathing by my ear. Wagwan the Lila. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? My dog. Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. hey -o. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. Wait, let me listen. No, I don't think he has any idea. Uh, absolutely sure. about what? Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Huh? Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, hey. um, you owned him with someone? Yeah, we're not going to ask about the call. <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. Eh, it's not your business. It's not really your business. Yeah. I'm sorry, but you're the one who brought her up. I mean, I didn't have a choice. Yeah, well, you ask a lot of fucking questions, you know that? Would you rather we just don't get to know each other? No. Then don't swear at me. Then please don't be so nosy. Or maybe I'm just being nice. God, your wife must be a saint to put up with such a fucking asshole. I'm gonna go do something. <laughs> I'll have a radio if you need anything. Don't call me that. So is it just one, two, three, four? Let's try this. Oh, it is. Oh, wow. Okay. Jane Eyre. We literally did an essay about that like two weeks ago in school. About her. Not that. Old toilet paper. Yeah, let me just use this. Survey communication lines north of the canyon. Okay, so north is up, obviously. Yeah, the tower is over there because we came that way. I don't know. I'm just follow this road. This is a dead end. What the heck? I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. Sorry, I don't really know what you mean by recruiting effort. Oh, after last summer. You know, budgets went through the roof, a lookout, and every lookout for the first time in 20 years. Last summer? Oh, come on. You're from Denver, not Delaware. This was national news for Pete's sake. Boulder. I'm from Boulder. Same diff. Fire? Wait, what? Oh, you're talking about that um, giant fire that probably caused some damage. Turned a, an entire jamboree of brownies to dust. Brownies don't have jamborees. Well, they should. And you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, do you? Hey, eh, shut up. Not. What is this turtle? Aww. I mean, the Hello. Almost let Yellowstone Adopt. Park oh, yeah. I'm going to adopt him. Ring a bell? Aww. Um, how would they do Yellowstone that? Yellowstone is, like, 
what, 15 miles? I'm not even paying attention to what she's saying. Okay, I'm sorry, but this slide is blocked off. Uh, whoa, Delilah, the, the trail, trail I hiked in on, it's, it's, uh, it's gone. What is yeah. this, the Twilight Zone? No, there was, a, there was a rock slide. Is there another path out of the thoroughfare? Ah, uh, let me think. God, I guess I'm lucky I wasn't on it when it happened. Yeah, for sure. You know, without some impossible mountaineering, there's not really another way out. So what the hell? We'll fly you out? I mean, sometimes folks get cut off by fire and we just scoop them up when it's time to go. Okay. Don't be nervous. I'm not. not. Well, you sound nervous. Well, the fact that I could always just hike out was some comfort. I promise I'll be here for you in this difficult time. I mean, in reality, we can just climb over this. I don't know why we're not doing that. He said, fly you out. Okay, what? Do I just wait? Okay, Delilah, I don't know where I'm supposed to be headed right now. I just came back to the tower. Hopefully, you'll bring in like a chopper or something. I also really need to pay more attention to the storyline because I remember last time I got so lost. But like, she was just talking and I wasn't paying attention. So, I'm going to try and pay more attention right now. But... Like, right now, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, she said she would fly me out. Or, I don't know. What What did she mean? Where am I supposed to Where am I supposed to go now? I hate when games do this. Because I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to go this way? Am I supposed to follow this path? I don't know what I'm supposed to do, man. 10 minutes later. Oh, shit. So, I hung a left out of the cave and I'm passing through Thunder Canyon now. I'm not seeing any wires in here. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, this is where I'm it supposed to go? Like yes. Turn east towards Jonesy Lake. Look, from the cave, you just want to come out and go straight to the north. Got oh. It. Okay, so just go straight. So this is the cave. Now we just head straight. Oh, here. All right. Uh, Finally. Yeah, I'm happy that I found the path because I, I could have just went around for like half an hour. Now we're headed up. Um, This is looking more like a desert area. Oh, here are the wires. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. All right, wires. Just got to look out. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Oh, well, if damn, they're here for me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Ooh, a cache. What do we have here? Um, some more info. Another note. So 30th of July. Dave. Hey, oh, I got you know about needing to talk. And sorry, I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon help with those grad students. But I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help. Anyway, we're co-workers, you know. Amigos professionales. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. Who are these Ron and Dave people? Pine cone, don't care. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. All right, let's check it out. Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was Go. deliberately. I knew it. The moment you Go said you found hell? your trash. <sighs> Idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... Ow. I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <laughs> <sighs> don't hold your breath. Oh, come on. I'd Give me start a by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. 
I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Oh, oh we got a camera. Ooh, I am some rope. flush with ropes now. That Let's hat go. was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this! This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait. Thanks, Brian. The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. We can take a picture. Lower cam. Anyway, Wait. yeah, Brian Goodwin. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned, and, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Alright, done talking. Alright, 16th of June. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heal Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself. More than usual for LOs. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? Hammock. I'm starting to think that Forest Service only picks the... Uh, oh, my, I cannot read. I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the cream de la cream. Let's toast the Deb at the spot, Ron. Where are we now? <sighs> okay, so we're over here, and now we're heading down towards the lookout tower. Are you still grumpy that, that I called you an asshole earlier? I okay. guess you still must be. I'm sorry, the distance between my brain and my mouth is uh, pretty short. You can tell me about her, though, if you want. Hell no. You know, honestly, I would just really rather not, okay? You're gonna spend right, all I don't summer know you. out here in that mood. We'll see. <laughs> I bet you don't. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, stop talking about my wife. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Could the girls be behind there? Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Hmm. Well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Oh. Uh, there's a cut off part here. Can I not just crawl through? Just so you know, I didn't mean to overstep my bounds earlier when you brought up your wife. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, Flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess Whoa. the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, well, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Oh, the music? Oh! I see a really thin plume of the smoke. heck? Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume 
like this is either a new fire or a campfire. That has campfire. to be the girls, right? You think it's them? <sighs> I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Hi, homie. Uh, okay, we're getting very close. Why does this smoke look like a tiny tornado? Probably just me. Another cash box. Copy this info. Missing person. Name Mitch Michaels, age 31, height 62. Damn. Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29th, 1981. So 26 days later, last known location around Jonesy Lake on the morning. If you have seen slash contacted them or have more info, please contact Shoshone. Shoshone. Bro, I'm about to quit this. I'm about to stop recording because I can't freaking read. Please contact Shoshone National Forest Dispatch at 307-555-6241. Damn, not that hard. Ooh, here it is. Here's the camp. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. <laughs> Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. I have entered the teen zone. Wait, these are my really? sheets. And where's that? I found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. No, no, no. That was a man that I these saw. These girls have a full case Not of beer left team. here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. <laughs> At this stage, take whatever you want. Now what is this? Dear Psycho, I hope you're effing happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake. And then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental effing axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Dick. Oh, I see what's happening here. So that guy that we saw at the tower, he attacked these girls. And then the girls thought it was me, but it wasn't. Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? The girls left someone... Me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? I need to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No. Don't be ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. I've known you, what, 24 hours? Maybe, maybe you're nuts. I just came out here to sit in a tower, all right? Not <laughs> get into some mess with a bunch of co-eds. It's fine. They're, they're gone? Yeah, they're gone. But you should see this place. It's just, it's weird. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Oh, day three. Okay, well, um, we're gonna end this here because I've been recording for almost 50 minutes. Wow, this game... I mean, this episode was a little, like, weirder because it's like... Oh, he's building this. So, um, this episode, uh, we learned a little bit more stuff. So, at the beginning, Delilah was talking to someone about us. So, I feel like she's not telling us something. She's definitely hiding something. And I think that guy that we saw at the end of the last episode attacked the teens. And then the teens thought it was me. So, they wrote, like, a letter... I guess we'll just have to see what happens in day three in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching this video. Wish you all a very good and awesome day. Don't forget to stay positive and peace out.